Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V and Kitten Chat. Been a while, long time. So, kick this off. This is a Create Love Share Canvas. Uh, 80, ancient Japan. Uh, 88 by 50 centimeters. 39 colors. It's in round. Now, Create Love Share is Australian. I was an affiliate. I don't know if I still am. There's a link below. If you're interested, check them out. Um, these guys are real quick delivery for those of us in Oz. So I've got the essential supplies. The Xyron. I've got the 60 bottle case, which I will be using for this one. All empty and ready to go. I have my tissue box now this is actually a timber tissue box um, yeah diamond painting tissue box I use this when I open up my drill bags right move that to the side and ancient Japan there's lots of pinks in this one and I love the look of it I don't know what it is. I do love the look of a lot of these. The image is here. There we go. It's quite a pretty image. And yeah. All right. So, first things first. I have gone through when I unbox this. I don't think I did a recording of it. I'm just making sure I haven't got the wrong drills. 3865, 36, 38, 35, number 12 is 6. I thought, right, just having a quick look at the drills, making sure I had the right ones. First things first is I need to cut out my little legend. Okay. Always easier if that's not there. Rightio. So, how are you all been? I know I've got a couple of people who are saying they missed me, <laughs> which is really good. Um, yeah, even in that short little live I did, I had a massive, massive list. Just kidding, of people that joined join me on this one. However, um, was really impressed that anybody joined at all. So, uh, yeah, really happy to see that. I've got a few people have commented, so thank you very much. And for those of you that uh, haven't watched it yet, um, I'll pop the link in here at this corner for you. Alright, so there we go. There is the legend. I'm putting it on the Xyron. I don't know if anybody's found anything better, apart from when you have companies that print out the labels for you. So we will see. Now I know I never get these straight. So I cut these in sections so that when I put them through, they still stay within the sticker boundaries. Rightio. So <laughs> see if I can remember how to do it. I haven't kitted up for a while. Right. Yet again, not straight, but hey, that's me. Um, pull that through just a little bit more. So what's everybody up to? Let me know what what projects you're actually working on. Oh, gosh, what projects you're working on at the moment? Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. I haven't been in the YouTube world for a while. I haven't even been. Well, I won't say I haven't been watching YouTube because I have been watching YouTube. But I haven't been watching much in the way of diamond painting because I've actually gotten into um, some of the travel videos, which is quite uh, interesting. There's some people that I watch 
uh, that are, it's not just not van life. I mean, there is one that I've seen is van life, um, but others are overlanders and stuff like that, which really does interest me. Alrighty, righty hey, so there we go. Make them even more manageable. Labels are only not going to fit the numbers. I just, I do want to keep the numbers on there. And so what we will do is, I actually need to put something. Ah, oh, no, I'll trust myself to do this without cutting cutting through <laughs> famous last words hang on how about I'll grab my diary oh look there's today's diary. okay right so let's get this moving with the kitten chat so as you can see I'm actually working on top of my diary and today is Monday the third of July which shows the first line is my budget kickoff so I filmed that this morning now I am obviously filming my kitten chat all right yeah just as well I didn't go all on canvas then I have another one that I've got written down to do which is actually my fortnightly budget so because it is um, because today is Monday I need to do my budget um, tonight so that it's all ready current situation I am work wise <laughs> funny thing work wise I am, did I? No, that's fine. I am on officially on days off. However, I'm on annual leave, but I am due back at work on Wednesday. So, hence, I've got three things to record today so that then I can try and get some videos out. I don't know how my video schedule will go. Um, I will just I can't schedule what I, what my videos are going to be how they're going to go I just when they're going to be released not at the moment not while I am getting back into the swing of things I don't think I can yeah I, I just can say that I am putting videos out I am back putting videos out that's cut that's cut that's not um, so hopefully um, this one will actually be the first one released okay so this will be the first one released since deciding to uh, start back on the YouTube journey uh, after the live that I did on Saturday so just one of the things that I need to do is just work out how I'm going to plot along, how I'm going to get it done. Um, yeah, because today was quite an interesting, well, not today, I should say yesterday. Yesterday I filmed, or I tried to film, and ended up in a situation where my cameras weren't working, my lights are flickering. Um, seems to be okay at the moment, but I have ordered more lights. Um, so we'll see how we go I'm just keeping this so that I can put it in the top box um, but yeah there we go so that's yeah just a case of looking at what I'm doing and how I'm doing it I actually will uh, need to work out where to put that okay right <laughs> Put the way, put that away. Miss the slot up there, and little scissors. Right, so let's see if I can remember how I used to kit up because I've had some slack kitting up lately. 
for when I've kitted stuff up, especially when it was Create last year, because they're in the bags, I didn't worry about kitting up properly. I just labelled the bags and just worked my way through. So let's, here we go, bear with the noise. Pretend it's Christmas. I love that sound. Oh, I so love that sound. How many of you guys like that sound? Let me know. Seen some ASMRs of, of doing this work and it's tempting to do that because now that I have decent audio, I could probably do it. But yeah, never too sure whether I want to do it or not. Right. So we will tackle this the good old way of Put the box down where you can see it. My labels there. And I've got 12 to 13. Hang on, that's 13. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. And I need my phone. Okay. I have discovered that funnels are much easier to use. Gosh, I haven't had a practice on it. Where is it? <laughs> My dryer cloth and, and drill tray, big drill tray. <laughs> dryer cloth, why? For those of you that all should already know, good old static. But let's kick her off. So take a quick picture. She is going, this little bugger up. So now she's gone away. She's run away and left me. Good thing. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll find that I will actually share videos of Misty or Misty Poo. So um, hopefully you don't mind. I used to share with you Bo. Uh, Misty is a total different kettle of fish to, to Bo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, such a big difference in dog. Bo was an old soul from the start. Um, and when he left, he left a massive hole in our hearts, I can tell you that much. But, so he was an old soul, so he would just plod along and just, yeah. I don't know what it was, but right from the start, he was a very calm dog. Or I can't remember him being really excitable, if I put it that way. The funny thing is with Misty, she is an absolute bundle of mischief. She is a bundle of joy. Um, I do keep nicknaming her... <laughs> I keep nicknaming her Rescue Dog, which Nathan doesn't like. Because I actually, I don't call her a Rescue Dog. I call her a Future Rescue Dog because some of the stuff she does, some of the stuff she does is ridiculous. She has cost us so much money and I can laugh about it, but she has done so much damage to stuff that it's hard to believe how much damage she has done <laughs> uh, uh, yeah funny not funny but okay here we go so this is where I start the story about Misty and her her how do I put it her adventures her destructions. I will do the, while I'm doing this chat. I will actually talk about the things that she has destroyed. Um, she has. She's now on her third blanket. Okay, so she's 15, 16 months old, somewhere around there, and she's on her third blanket. 
and what I mean by that is she is a suckler so hopefully I can find footage of her suckling but she suckles blankets um, possibly possibly because although we're not sure she may have been taken away from her mother too early so she she suckles and chews like no one's business oh, there we go knew i had to do a spillage um yeah so she's on her third blanket i do have a fourth put aside for her <laughs> uh, i buy soft they are actually soft very soft blankets i do get her so, very soft blankets um, when I find them on special so things like Mother's Day and Easter you get um, being winter we get all these blankets come up for sale early in the season early before winter really kicks in and then when winter's nearly over or is over I'll be able to get some more okay all right so yeah so she suckles really cute to see but oh my gosh it, she does damage she does damage now she also chews so it is amazing what she chews because basically if she can get it she will chew it she has chewed both headsets so nathan has both headsets you know wide wide wireless headset for his phone she has now chewed her she's chewed three of those so she absolutely loves them um, even the last pair that she that she chewed were, was on the kitchen bench and there was stuff so you got the edge of the kitchen bench it was here and there was stuff in front of it she still managed to get it without going for anything else on the on the kitchen bench so oh she's an absolute horror <laughs> hang on sorry okay um right shoes my goodness shoes we cannot leave shoes out anywhere shoes no i have lost so many pairs of shoes I can't believe it I have what I have left is a flat pair of shoes which is um, how do I put it like a ten dollar pair of shoes they're the ch cheap stuff I have a pair of those I have my work shoes um, well I have three pairs of sketches one is work shoes one is kind of around the house if I have to do stuff and then the other pair is bright pink uh, and they are the shoes I wear when I walk her so she knows what her walk she knows those shoes Nathan's lost countless shoes um, we have to we used to have stuff at the bottom of our walk-in robe she has now chewed through a lot of that uh, one of them being the wheels so overhead suitcase that has wheels on it she has chewed the wheels suitcase works fine wheels kind of work okay but she has chewed them um, <laughs> we can actually leave stuff out and she won't chew it whoops yeah and she won't chew it but then she surprises us with stuff that she does end up chewing it, it's ridiculous when we had a house sitter look after that place when we went away so we went uh, to Karajini for a week one of the big instructions we gave before all the food instructions and anything else top of the list like as a guy that uh, works with Nathan top of the list was if you leave it out she will chew it so she will chew anything absolutely anything so yeah he had strict instructions and I will admit he didn't know that we had a camera and one of the things said to Nathan I wasn't going to use it I will make 
I will check when we know that he's not at work, when he is at work. So didn't want to invade his privacy like that. So he didn't know we had the camera, but I would did not use it when he was at home. When we knew his work, we know Nathan knows his work hours. So it was during the day and I said to Nathan, is he working? It's like, yeah, he's at work. It's radio. I'll, I'll check in on her, see, if she, see how she's going. Um, because we you know parents of a, of a horror horror dog so you know you do your best to keep an eye on them anyway and look, I've logged in and had a look and <coughs> I've spotted you know like not you know everything is in its place Misty was on the couch and I've looked over and you can see the kitchen bench and I've actually seen his shoes on the kitchen bench and I've said to Nathan, oh, my God, he's got the shoes on the bench. You know, big no-no for me. And then it kind of dawned on me. And I thought, um, they might be up because he doesn't want them getting chewed. So, so understandable. I'm, I won't get cranky about it. Um, mind, I couldn't actually tell him I didn't appreciate it anyway. But because we didn't want him to know that we could see if we wanted to but he um yeah he's obviously put the shoes on the kitchen bench so that it wouldn't get chewed by a little misty poo okay probably two bags for that one all right so while we were away however we got sent she, he turned around and said, oh my God, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm so sorry. Um, he was. He sent us a text message and then he sent us a picture. So this is the picture. That is our bed. So we deliberately left the bedroom door open. We put old sheets on the bed and so that she could go in and sleep on the bed so that you know it wasn't you know if she missed us she could go sleep on the bed yeah no i think she was rather pissed off at us <laughs> now that is not chewing that is her digging into the mattress oops that is her digging into the mattress so she's we actually the bed was actually made so she did we did actually have it where she actually i'm just going to pop these no i'm not um she actually nudged aside the doona nudged aside the top sheet now she already does that she was doing that before she used to push the top push the doona she used to nudge the doona nudge the top sheet and then she'd go and climb on the bed and just sit there um, yes we let her on the bed but um, so this time she's actually dug into the mattress and spring all sorts of stuff so poor guy you know he's felt guilty because uh, Misty's damaged our bed and he thought it was his fault so you know, like we've just turned around on the phone, on the message messages saying, "That's okay." You know, we know she chews. We, you know, not your fault. <laughs> when we got back, when we got back, however, she turns around. <laughs> and, you know, she's you know, like we've got. We, sorry, when we've gotten back, when Nathan went back to work um, and caught up with the guy, um, we heard the story about why he felt so guilty and it was purely because <laughs> he'd been allowing her to sleep with him but one of her habits when it gets towards the morning when she's expecting you to wake up she actually climbs up on the bed and she'll actually what she she doesn't do it to me but she climbs up on the on my pillow i don't sleep on the pillow my pillow is always pushed up against the end of the bed and i don't i don't use a pillow but that's what, where she goes. So this is what she was doing to him. And then one night she, he just had enough and he kicked her out of the bedroom and shut the door. He put the TV on and she went happily, sat on the, on the uh, 
happily went and sat on the couch and watched TV and she was fine. Um, so he shut the door and gone to bed. And when he's woken up in the morning, our bed had been our mattress had been destroyed. <laughs> so because he'd actually kicked it out of bed, his bed, he thought it was hundred percent his fault. So who knows? Maybe if he if he hadn't kicked her out, maybe he would have. Um, maybe she wouldn't have done it. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You don't know. Uh, but we knew what she was like, so it doesn't matter to us. Apart from the fact that obviously we had to fork out for an expensive bed, which actually shows up <coughs> on my budget. <laughs> We actually, um, not that we, oops, sorry. Yeah, we ended up with quite, um, you know, obviously going and getting, that's 17, 18, there we go, that's why it doesn't look right, 16, 15, 14, there we go. Um, yeah, we, we ended up having to, we got home on the Saturday, slept in the spare room on the Saturday, in the guest room on the Saturday. So we've come home for camping. Um, we haven't worried about unpacking. I've gone into the guest room, well, obviously we've gone and looked at the damage, gone into the guest room, I've stripped the bed, I've put fresh sheets on because obviously we needed to sleep somewhere and the guest room it was. Um... And we spent two nights on the guest. Two nights? So we came home Saturday. Two nights. We came home Saturday. We got home Saturday. And then Sunday we went looking at beds. And then on Monday Nathan went and picked it up. So um, all we got was the bed mattress. And I've just received notification today that um, the, my, our bed frame itself is going to be delivered tomorrow so um, we needed the mattress urgently and it was like well we need, wanted to get a new bed anyway so we went and got a new frame so <sighs> mattress was over 10 years old and you're supposed to replace apparently you're supposed to replace your mattress every 10 years so we use that as a valuable excuse as well so yeah um uh, yeah, that was Misty's biggest expense was chewing out, was destroying our mattress. She didn't chew it, but she did destroy it. Um, I don't know how to put it, but the other stuff that she has chewed has just been. Oh! Yes, I just dropped that. I just dropped that. Okay, hopefully I will be fine and won't have... Mm. What colour is that? What colour is that? 819. No, it's 7... Ah, 779. I will have plenty 779 in my spare drill storage. Serves me right. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... That one, I will actually do this to represent it being different whoops if I run short of 779 it's not their fault that's mine and I need to collect everything that's on the floor later okay um yeah so she had lots of, she she just chews my god she chews so much she is an absolute bundle of energy she is vocal she talks to us really
you talking to me? <coughs> really? <coughs> okay. Are you telling me you want a bone? <laughs> <laughs> Um, two. We I we are kind of grateful that I do shift work because the longer she is at home alone is um, like two two days in a row she'll be at home alone during the day. Otherwise, she's at home. Otherwise, I'm on you know either Nathan's at work and I'm home or. Nathan's at work and I'm on night shift, so I'm still at home. <laughs> um, very, very good that I do the shift work because it's just, yeah, she she does need supervision. Now, she is a Staffy Cross Bull Mastiff. So for those of you that don't know the breed, that they're bundles of energy, about the same height as Bo, um, but a lot skinnier. Unless, of course, you feed them too much. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, this will fit in that. Nope, nope. There we go. Um, yeah, but she just uses so much energy, so much energy. If we don't walk her, um, she tends to destroy more. <laughs> However, in with it being winter at the moment, we're having a hard time with her because well, let's just put it this way: it's too cold and wet to walk her. Not too too. So yeah, she she, <laughs> she yeah. Staffy crossbow mastiff. Um, we did get her as a puppy. I do keep threatening to make her a rescue dog, so. You know, I call her a future rescue dog because, yeah, she has her times. She has her times. Um, but, yeah, so that's good old Misty Poo. So hopefully some of the pictures I've shared with you, you'll see either her, you'll see her or her destruction. Um, I have saved quite a lot of... I do tend to take some pictures of what she destroys um, because... <laughs> <laughs> I go to work <laughs> when I go to work it's so funny <laughs> we'll have could be days off <laughs> and not when I get back to work on the first day of work it's like did she destroy anything you know the team that I work with um, I you know talk obviously I share with them <laughs> and one person I know which one of the chicks I work with absolutely brilliant she, her heart is in the right place but she gets here going I would have shot her by now um, <laughs> obviously coming from a farming side of things you don't put up with that <laughs> from a dog but um, yeah it's, she's not a farm dog <laughs> but yeah. oh god I did have her go through some training because she jumps she jumps on people um I got some training. I got some training for myself and for her. Um, however, we had, I think, the third time the dog trainer came. Because we allow her to do something, she turned around and she went straight out. She said, look, if you continue to let her to do this certain thing, you will never have her under any form of control. She will continue to... Um, push and enforce her belief that she is top dog or that she doesn't have to do what you say uh, which is true however I say it to Nathan it's like we can't let her do this but that's her you know it's yeah, either we get really strict and like when we were on holidays and we got that I went this is just because she won't do as she's told because we're too lenient with her. We're too soft on her. Um, so, you know, it's... I turn around and say, you know, it is brought on ourselves. We, If we actually put our foot down and we're firmer with her, 
half the stuff that she has done, she wouldn't do. Because when we come home, we can tell whether she's destroyed anything when she comes home, when we come home, because she does the same thing. Um, and I will try and make sure I put a picture in of what she looks like when she's done something naughty. She just, she gets a certain way when you, when she's done something she knows she shouldn't do. And you know, it's, she does know that she's not supposed to do that. And she's guilty, she's, she, it looks like she's guilty, but it's, as I say to Nathan, it's not. She doesn't feel guilt. Yeah, you get. That's better. She doesn't feel guilt. Dogs don't feel guilt. Dogs feel sorry for that that they've been caught. They don't feel guilty that they've done something. But best way to put it, when she chews something, she gets into a frenzy. <sighs> yeah. She gets into an absolute frenzy. Right, yeah. Um, and when you actually picture here is actually her, one of her toys on the craft room floor. So where she's, I've been in the room, I'm sitting and Don and painting, and because it's her toy, I let her because she's allowed to chew her toys. But when you see the destruction causes on that cause on that toy, it really does show her destructive benefit, her destruct, destructive behaviour. Um, yeah. So. You know, I know that there's things that I could do which would probably stop it, but I don't think anything actually would stop it. I, any suggestions? <laughs> Greatly appreciated. Um, always appreciate suggestions, but it's for me to train her. I need to train Nathan, and it ain't going to happen. <laughs> I try and raise the raise the issue, of going well. You let her do this. This is why. What happens? Okay. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Third of the way through. Let's hope I've got enough tubs for it. Jeez. Okay. Whoops. Always a couple of spills, drills. Rightio. So, yeah, that's, that's the story of Misty. However... The story of getting Misty. I suppose the story of getting Misty would probably be good for you guys to hear. Um, yeah. <laughs> we got this Misty the day after my birthday. So let's set the scene for this. So we got her a day after my birthday. Now, my birthday was an interesting event last year. Or maybe not interesting enough. <laughs> so Nathan actually forgot my birthday. And it's really funny because I had this... He, he has a tendency to forget my birthday. But this last year, I turned around and said to my son, don't tell him my, it's my birthday. I turned around and said to his best mate who is the one that always reminds Nathan that it's my birthday I turned around and I said to him this year do not remind him you know don't remind him I don't want you to remind him that it's my birthday I want to see if he actually remembers so not a word was said to him about my birthday um, I must have been upset about it knowing full well because I actually ooh static <laughs> static in these drills okay um 
yeah so I've turned around must have had some premonition that he was going to forget um, or maybe I set him up for it to forget because I told his mate not to remind him. Who knows, one way or another, he forgot. I was going through a stage of nightmares um, and the night that he... The night before, so obviously the night before, but yeah, we've gone to bed the night before and sometime through the night I have had um a nightmare so i've been going through nightmares for about a week so i had a nightmare um and i ended up screaming at him in bed um all in my sleep I, and i don't know well i do know what it was but i won't discuss it here um but let's just say he ended up <laughs> sleeping on the <laughs> sleeping on the couch because the what apparently i was pretty i was pretty horrible with what i said um, however, I do know that that dream was not aimed at him. I was screaming at somebody else. So, totally different kettle of fish, different issue. Right. I think I need to start looking at... What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, plenty, plenty, plenty. Um, yeah, so... He slept on the couch and so that the next morning, which was my birthday, um, not a word from him. You know, he, he's come out. He, I've, I was still in bed, but he's gotten up and grabbed himself. He's done his breakfast and, and coffee. Jesus. Get that right. No. Yes. 30 is that one um yeah so he's gotten up had his breakfast grabbed his coffee i've gotten out of bed said good morning to me <laughs> um you know which is surprising considering what what i yelled through the night um and you know i've gotten up had my breakfast well i actually made my fruit juice and then made my coffee and then i sat down at my desk to have my coffee and I think I was about five minutes into my coffee when I started crying and he like I've just had tears and he's looked over and he's seen me and he goes well, what's wrong with you and I said it doesn't matter and he goes no what's wrong with you and I've turned around and I've looked at him I said do you know what today is and he's just looked at me <laughs> and then it dawned on him that it was my birthday and he goes it's your birthday happy birthday I haven't forgotten um, but you know he hadn't said anything and then like I've gotten he's come and give me a hug and I've just like not really been very nice about it so this is a long-winded story about how we got misty um, <coughs> so with he's gone oh, I've got to go to Bunnings to get a few things so he's gone out and come back two hours later with chocolates and flowers going I didn't forget I just hadn't done it yet because <laughs> I wanted to get them fresh you know the so you know <laughs> yeah um so yeah he's come back and he goes we'll go out we'll go down to Freeman for lunch okay so on the way down to Frio, we've stopped at our one of our well our favorite pet store. We've actually stopped at our favorite pet store because we needed to get stuff for the fish tank. And while we were there, just dug in to see the puppy section and have a look at what puppies because we've been looking for another dog anyway. And there was this litter of cute puppies and Misty was one of them now they weren't quite sure whether they were going to whether Misty was going to be available but she was the one that she was actually the one that Nathan liked out of the litter and it was like oh well you know no loss um, so we've gone out for lunch and come back 
gone home. And then the next day, Nathan's like, do you want to come back, go back and have a look at those dogs? <laughs> we'll have a look at the, have a look at the puppies. We might get one. So yeah, we went back. Misty was available. So we brought her home the next day. So yeah, we basically found Misty on my birthday and picked her up the day after. So that is the story of Misty. Um, now, one of the things that was, is we got her from a pet shop and I actually think that that was part of the one of the things that sh we shouldn't have done um, because I think that they took her away from the mum too soon or well, maybe all of the pups were taken away from mum too soon whereas if we'd actually gone directly to the breeder um, you know you, you, you spend a lot more time getting to know the dog um, yeah so yeah quite a, a, an interesting process where I wish we'd actually gotten our dog from a breeder but yeah she's an absolute handful <laughs> absolute painful handful that um, we love her we won't get rid of her but I keep threatening to because she she, oh, and she chews stuff yeah you know we make sure we have you know everything's put away however kitchen sponges we've discovered that she loves kitchen sponges um, and they're on the kitchen bench tucked away from the edge where she can't reach them uh, I swear to God one of the times that she grabbed the kitchen sponge the kitchen sponge was in the sink or I believe it was I hadn't even put it away it was in in the sink so she couldn't reach in the sink and I've turned around and said to Nathan I reckon she's actually jumped on the bench to get it yeah so that was Ah, oh, beautiful little Misty. Whoops. That tub there. So that is the story of how Misty came about. Now, she, we, obviously we go camping. We've done a couple of camp trips with her. And she is an absolute amazing camp dog. Um, we did a camp with, the, we went camping with, um, Two other, well, sorry, four. One, two, no, three other vehicles. So there was four vehicles, um, and she was brilliant. She does get car sick, however. That was an interesting discovery. Um, yeah, she got car sick um, on us. <laughs> Where's the lid? Uh, which isn't pretty. Which isn't pretty. Um, so, yeah. She, as a camp dog, this trip we went away for a, a week and we were able to take her with us because we went to Murchison Station. And we had her, the only time she was on the lead is when we were taking her to places where she had to be on a lead. Um which you know when you go certain places you should have your dog on leave however with the the way we were camping we did where pets were allowed we didn't have to have her on the lead so it was it's actually a big station so we had our camp area and it was so funny she would not go very far from us um if we ever did call her she was instantly there so she was she's really good at recall um we had, there was cows around, there was kangaroos, there was galahs, there's all sorts of animals around. But she never went far, we, and we had really great recall with her. With, No, no, that's, I've got two bags of that. That's what confused me. <laughs> um, 
yeah, so she was, would get up in the morning, and she through the night, if anybody opened up their tent, if, you know, she, if, if there was anything moving around, she'd growl. She wouldn't bark, she just growled you know, enough to wake us up to let us know there was something around. Then um, in the morning, once Nathan got up, she would actually get up as well. Uh, we'd leave the tent unzipped so that she could go in and out. So she'd go out with Nathan and then she'd come back to bed with me. However, every time somebody opened up their tent, so you'd hear the zip, bang, off she'd go and saying good morning to them and getting her morning pats. Um, yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful dog. She's you know, a really good camp dog. Um, for us, it's something that's really good. With Bo, I don't think we could have taken... We took Bo camping once and it wore him out. Um, whenever we went away after that, it was a case of we just didn't take him with us. We left him with... We got Dion to look after him. So, although now Dion's no longer here. Um, there's another story for another day. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the story of Misty. So, here we go. I am kitted up. I have two bags that I haven't... Three bags that I haven't put away. Um, but that's just, I probably could, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, the way I have done this though, obviously I've got the label. If there's any extras, it's the next one down. Um, but yeah, we are all kitted up. I will put the image in there and three extra bags of drills in there. All kitted up, good to go. I had static in one. I did drop one bag, so seven, seven, nine. So if I run short on that one, that's my own fault. Um, but here we go, another look at the image. Another look at the diamond painting itself. So I do love that style. So yeah, there we go. Ancient Japan, 88 by 50 centimetres or 34.6 by 19.7 inches. Um, canvas, always sticky. They are really good. Yeah, I do like these guys. So now I will actually hang that one up and we will do it at another time for a kitten, not a kitten chat, just for a whipping chat. Um, so yeah, on that note guys, thanks for joining me and bye for now.